Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this one, I want you to see that there is another way to do what we did in the last video where we used Doxygen by relying on the Doxyfile configuration file. CMake has bundled all the hard stuff in and it is possible to actually use a built-in command to generate documentation by using Doxygen. This is what we did in the last video. If you remember, we added a custom target which would run a Doxygen for us and generate our documentation in our build folder. And after that, we run a custom command which is going to print this nice message to let the user know where the documentation is. We can actually do this another way. You can see that this is the same code we had in our CMEC list file but we took out the code that run the custom target and the custom command. What we did, we set up a bunch of properties so you can see that we have this here. We have Doxygen generate HTML. We want to generate HTML. This is going to be our output folder. This is going to be generating a tree view and we pass in our extra style sheet files. This is how you can do this. And after you set your properties like this, you will call the doxygen add docs command. You pass the name of the target as we did before. So this is going to be a new target. We pass the location of the source files that we want to be scanned. And we pass a comment that is going to be printed out when we built this target here. If you want, you can visit this command in the CMake documentation. So we can say CMake doxygen uh, at docs. I think this is the name here. Okay, we have it here. Uh, doxygen add docs. Okay, this is a module file that is built into CMake, but it has doxygen add docs, which is a command we can use. And you can read all about it here. These are the properties that you can set. If you read the documentation for this, this function is intended as a convenience for adding a target for generating the documentation with Doxygen. So it is going to simplify what we did earlier. The function is going to construct a Doxy file for you. So it is going to build the Doxy file behind the scenes. And if you want to pass some configuration to the Doxy file, you see that right here, they say the content of the generated Doxy file can be customized by setting CMake variables before calling this command here. Any variable with the name of the form doxygen underscore and anything else will have its value substituted for the corresponding tag configuration option in the doxy file. So what is happening in our project here is that when we say doxygen generate HTML, generate HTML is going to be set in the doxy file. If we say doxygen HTML output, HTML output is going to be set in the doxy file and the doxy file is going to be used to generate the documentation for us. This is what we do here. Let's look at this in a live project. Here I have my project opened up here. You can get this from the Git repository of this CMake series. Let's go back in the docs folder. You can see that we have downloaded the CSS files that we need like we did exactly in the last video, the only part we changed is the part where we run our custom target and our custom command. And we replaced this with these settings that we put here to control how our documentation is going to look and the call to the doxygen add docs command here, which is going to generate our documentation when we run this target here. I want you to take a moment and compare this to what we did in the last video. And the big part is that we don't have to manually mess with Doxygen configuration files. If you remember in the last video, we had a Doxy file, we had to go in and edit stuff. Now we don't have to do this. All we need to do is to specify the settings we need like this. Again, remember to prefix any Doxygen setting with Doxygen underscore, just like we saw in the documentation. And after that, you call this command, you pass the name of the target, you pass the location of your sources, and you pass any comment that you need. This is going to set up your target and everything is going to fall in place. Let's see what we have in the build folder. It is empty. Let's bring up a terminal to make sure this actually works. So we can uh, configure this, CMake build, uh, the source folder is the current folder. The build folder is build, so we can configure. We're going to wait for this to do whatever it does. I think it is going to be using the catch to library for testing. 
So that's where it's going to be downloaded. That's why it is stuck here. It found Doxygen, the build files have been generated. Now we can build our documentation by saying CMake build, build, and specify the target to be documentation. And if we do that, documentation, what is this? Uh, CMake, build, build, T documentation. This is what we want to do. This is going to generate the documentation. If we go in the builder directory, we should have an HTML folder. And if we run things from it, we should see our documentation. Let's make sure we go there together. So let's find this in Explorer. We go inside build, we find an HTML folder. If we go inside, we will find an index file that we can double click on to see our documentation here. So we have the documentation, we have our class to list, we have our calculator and the documentation that is inside. And we are doing all this by relying on the built-in doxygen add docs command. And this is really cool. Okay, before I go, if you got some value out of this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to make sure this video is picked up by the YouTube algorithm. And uh, that's going to help other people find this video. Please make sure to do that. I am going to stop here and I will see you next time.